I'm confident that today's announcement will amplify not only Lake Nona's commitment to transportation innovation, but Orlando's, the state of Florida's, and the entire country's capacity post-COVID to experience in-person, face-to-face events like never before. We at Lake Nona could not be more excited to be here with the team today to launch not only the arrival of an electric vertical takeoff and landing service, or eVTOL, to the United States, but also to establish the home of eVTOL in the state of Florida, in the city of Orlando, in our living lab environment at Lake Nona. What we saw is, is a tremendous opportunity and for Lake Nona and Orlando to sit at the heart of a network that could span all of Florida. So our vision and what we want to launch today is, is really the first starting point of how we can connect Florida in a completely new way. And of course, Lake Nona and Orlando with its whole economy being at the center of it. So within a one hour flight of our absolutely novel aircraft, we can reach 20 million Floridians. We are also creating an, a completely new aircraft, an aircraft that can take off and land vertically. It's entirely battery driven. It's an aircraft that has 36 engines and it takes off um, on a similar surface as a helicopter um, with all of its engines pointing down. And then very, very smoothly as if it was on rails, it can transition into forward flight. And we have built this team of global leaders in aviation, but also in manufacturing. So, so we are at first going to, to keep manufacturing and engineering very, very close in order to maximize our, um, our advancement and the speed to launch this new technology as quickly as possible. Our city's had a long history of developing partnerships to tackle tough challenges. We know we could do the same here and together with Tavistock Development Company, we've transformed Lake Nona into an innovation hub for live, work, play and learn. And now we're proud to partner again to enhance what will become America's first thriving aerotropolis. And while there are many additional regulatory approvals from the FAA, Florida Department of Transportation and many others that are still to come, this is a great step forward for innovation and we look forward to working collaboratively with these authorities as eVTOL regulations develop in the future. Florida is home to 21 million uh, people today, but that growth is expected to increase to 25 million by 2030. But more than that, Florida is host to 130 million tourists annually. Uh, and that incredible growth of tourism and population puts an incredible pressure on Florida's transportation demand. So I'm excited to watch this development. We're gonna to continue to work with Lilium and other partners to ensure that Florida stays on the cutting edge of mobility. You can imagine someday getting off your flight at one of the busiest airports in the country and heading across Orlando's Aerotropolis to Lake Nona in a deep autonomous vehicle to the Lake Nona vertical port. From there, you can get on your Lilium jet and head directly to your destination. This is the type of experience you'd normally hear about at Smart Cities conferences, but we're making this experience a reality here in Orlando. Orlando has always been a place where experiences are taken to the next level from being the home of human space flight to making vacation dreams come true. And Lake Nona has continued to be a hub for next generation experiences. The Lake Nona Vertiport features two landing pads along with eight gates for individual aircraft charging. Sitting on a seven acre site, the Lake Nona Vertiport will have the ability to accommodate hundreds of thousands of passengers each year and connect as many as 20 million Floridians with the aircraft's 186 mile range. From this hub location in Lake Nona, which is centrally located in our great state, jet passengers can reach nearly all of Florida's major cities in less than an hour. And this will only increase as continued in advancements in technology improve. Regional connectivity will transform how people move. This transformation will create greater, a significantly greater economic impact for cities and their residents, as well as increased access for industry, culture, and even nature. We believe that the Lake Nona Vertiport will serve as the testing ground for future locations within the Florida network and beyond as eVTOL expands through this country. We are proud to welcome Lilium and the first U.S. Vertiport to Orlando and Lake Nona, and want to genuinely thank Lilium for choosing to partner with us. All of the press announcement information, imagery and videos are available online and will be sent directly to the email address you used to register today. 
If for some reason you don't receive this information momentarily, you can email us at media at Tavistock.com. And you can also visit the Lillian Newsroom.